Well, good morning, my friends. Centuri here on this seventh day of March, 2020 at 7.20 a.m. I figured I would make a video to help you guys along here. Should you be considering selling any gold in particular? But not so much silver, being that it's uh, losing <laughs> no matter what it tries to do. Continually loses pretty pretty bad eh must say so without further ado man let's get started i've made videos of, uh, of this particular thing in the past and i'm gonna make another one now and i'd like just like to let you know in advance as per usual i don't monetize man and i'm not a mouthpiece nor am i in with any of these bullying companies i don't roll like that dude I just, I ain't got no time for that shit. So here's what we're going to do. Seeing how I have been over the last week and a half, two weeks, considering, you know, unloading probably four ounces of gold. Um, reason being is because I'm all about profit taking, man. I like to take profits while they are there. I have learned many lessons in the past, man. And, uh, you know, I have also sold, oh God, well over 3,000 ounces of silver and about uh, 15 ounces of gold in total. And I'm going to probably unload a little bit more here if uh, prices continue upward as they have been. You know, they've been going up and down. But I'm pretty confident uh, that I am in a good selling range right now. Even if gold were to go past $1,700, this is still a good, safe place to be selling as I have done with my silver in the past where many of you had said, wow, I bet you in hindsight you're, you know, wishing you would have held out for whatever number. Well, <laughs> we're going to get to that shortly. And I'm going to prove to you why holding out, um, it, it, it really, in some cases, yeah, it, it's a good thing to do. It really is. But with certain dealers, one in particular who I'm going to show you, they always pay out the absolute best. It just is what it is. I want to share it with you once again. Not for buying necessarily, but for selling too, which is why you need to have an account with these guys because they pay out the absolute best for American gold and silver in particular. Other metals, not so much. I'm going to just be straight with you. Man, other metals, just not so much. But American silver and gold eagles, they pay out the greatest. So without further ado, man, let's get to it. U.S. Gold Bureau versus Provident Metals. All right, let's get to it. Today, today at this very moment, a one ounce American Gold Eagle, 1687.60. An ounce worth of halves, 1697.68. Quarters, 1706.04. And tenths, 1739.50. Okay? That's your payout through the Gold Bureau. Provident, your payout. And the Gold Bureau, by the way, charges a flat $25 shipping <clears throat> via FedEx, which is taken off the top of your profits, okay? Provident, on the other hand, uh, it's all up to you on your shipping, okay? But they prefer USPS registered, which is a, usually $35, all right? So, one ounce, $16.79.26. That's an $8.34 difference. On your halves, $16.82.26. That's a $15.42 difference. On your quarters, $16.92.28 at a $13.76 difference. And on your tenths, $17.26.30, which is a $13.20 difference. Now, as mentioned, I'm considering selling four ounces of gold, okay? Your difference over four ounces will be $50.72 plus an additional $10 to ship it, puts me at $60.72 difference from the U.S. Gold Bureau to Provident Metals. All right? So there's a huge difference there, man. $60.72 difference. Now, if I was to just sell one ounce of gold, I would probably go with Provident. Why? Well, yeah, they pay a little bit less, but being that you're using the uh, priority mail system, it's not going to be a $35 to, to ship one ounce of gold registered mail, all right? 
it's probably going to be more like 15 bucks or 13 bucks. You dig? So in that instance, you know, I'd probably take the less money because it's going to make up for it in the shipping costs. You guys need to do your math in this case. There's a lot of you guys out there. I'd have to say the majority of this community has never sold a single ounce of gold or silver. Uh, there's very few of us that really have, man. And, you know, I have not been stacking an awfully long time, you guys. You know, I've only been stacking since uh, late 2014 into 2015. And I tell you what, I've been buying and selling and buying and selling the whole freaking time. And uh, if you have never sold any of your metals and you're, you're trying to give people information, I don't think you should be listening to these guys. You know, you, you need to do the stuff for yourself to learn, you know, wow, shit, I lost a lot of money or I could have made more money or I should have gone here, I should have gone there. You need to do your due diligence, man. I'm, I'm telling you guys that it's in, all in your best interest to do these kind of things. Now, as far as the Gold Bureau, I know I do bring them up a lot, but those of you that have listened to me in the past about selling your precious metals to this, this place, you know, I, I can't, uh, I've never heard anything negative in return from any of you guys who have done it. So here's how you do it, man, and here's the bonus. With Provident, you know, I've had, a, I've had an account with Provident for years and years. The thing that sucks is that you have to call them on the freaking phone as do you also with J.M. Bullion, a.k.a. J.Prov, as I call him nowadays. Uh, and then you're on an intergalactic wait. And in most cases, you need to freaking leave your callback number. And if sometime throughout the day, they might call you back, right? And uh, if you've called both J.M. and Provident, you're going to get numerous phone calls by the end of the day. All right. The glorious part about the Gold Bureau is that once you create an account with them, you don't have to deal with any of that shit, man. You don't have to deal with any of it. You create your account, and then through your account, you can sell in real time online. Monday through Sunday, man. Monday through Monday, essentially. You can do it in real time, as I've done numerous times in the past. All you do, I mean, you get this big box. You can go in, you check up all the things you're going to sell, and the quantity, and the ounces, yada, yada. And then you literally, it's just like when you're going to buy, you guys, you know, you wait for that ticker and you're like, you're like, okay, and click, right? To complete the, the, the purchase. And uh, then in most cases, the, 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 you know, sell price will go up. <laughs> and you're like, shit, I should have waited one more second. Anyways, uh, so you can do all that stuff without even have to relying, uh, be reliant upon a phone call and then be put on wait. You know, so that's one awesome, another awesome thing I should say about selling at the Gold Bureau. On top of the fact that they have the best payout on the ASEs and the American Gold Eagles. But on everything else, man, not so much. And that's why I'm telling you once again to figure out who pays out the best on what it is you're going to sell. Okay. Now, if I were to just, if I wanted to sell this, you know, this, this quarter ounce round, through the Golden State Mint, well, the Gold Bureau is probably going to pay me jack squat for that. But on this bad boy right here, I've yet to find a dealer to pay out more money on ASEs and American Gold Eagles than the Gold Bureau. But now Maples and Britannias and things of that nature, not so much, man. They have a terrible payout. So in which case, I would go to JM Bullion or JPROV, right? <clears throat> now, the other thing I wanted to bring up is that you need, you need to you just do what works best for you. You know what I mean? Like, a, let's say this is an American Gold Eagle, right? <clears throat> and you only want to sell one ounce. In this case, I would probably say, you know, again, go with uh, just Provident because, you know, it's going to be less money, more than likely in your USPS shipping versus uh, the Gold Bureau that's a flat $25. So you need to, again, do your due diligence. All right? I mean... I've got a little over 24 ounces of gold. So I feel confident that in selling four ounces, taking my profits from my asset, right? An asset is something that produces for you, in which case my gold is right now producing for me, man. And so I'm going to take the reward of that asset, which it is right now, I'm going to take that reward and I'm going to, to sock it, 
you know, because I'm very confident the gold's going to go down, man. It always does. Gold and silver, they go up, they go down. They go up, they go down. They go big. Gold does it more often. It goes up more often than it does go down, right? But when it does go down, you guys, I look, I'm, I'm pretty confident gold's going to be back into the uh, $1,200 and $1,300 range. So I'm going to take the profits of that asset right now, and I'm going to pay off a couple of things that I that I've been you know putting off for a little bit, and stock the rest of the cash, and I'm going to wait, and I'll come back right back in, even stronger than I was before. Are you with me? Look, if we get twelve hundred dollar gold again, which I'm very confident we will, or even thirteen hundred dollar gold again, I'll be able to acquire more of that precious metal than I can in this price range, right? So, you know, I'll still be at 20 ounces of gold. So I, I feel okay in selling some of it as I'm, you know, I'm, I'm diverse enough where I can. But for those of you that are just beginning stacking, for one thing, I, I don't think, I'm not a financial advisor, but I don't think now is a good time to be getting in on uh, gold, especially not silver. I You know what? I would just not even bother getting in on silver whatsoever. It's It's a good... Uh, gateway metal to break you in on precious metals. But you know, man, uh, the gold is just always going to produce for you versus the silver, which is just a long-term wait, man. It just really is. And uh, it just it continually proving itself to just not be worth it. Now, it is fun as hell to hold this silver. It is fun to have the clinkety-clank in your hand and the weight of it. It all feels good. It looks good and all that stuff. But I myself, I prefer the having an actual asset versus a encumbrance, which is this shit right here. It continually proves itself to be just a loser metal, man. So I don't want to be in it. I want to be in on the winning side, man, which is the gold. So, uh, you know, I don't, uh, if I had it to do all over again, man, I would never buy silver, you guys. I would just be 100% all gold. Now, platinum. Man, that's a different deal. I don't even want to get on in on platinum. That is 100% commodity. There's no monetary value in it, really. I mean, there is. Okay, I, let me back up. It's just not a monetary metal. Platinum, palladium, silver, none of it. it it's 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 just not. It's so speculative. It, it it's got worse mood swings than my two ex wives. Man, it, it's just it's terrible. It's absolutely so volatile that. That being in on those metals is not in my best interest. So I'm staying the hell away from the shit, man. I just staying the hell away from it. I'll stick with the gold, but only at a right price. You know, buy low, sell high. Quit buying in on this seventeen hundred dollar gold, man. It's just it's not in your best interest. If gold goes to two grand, great. If you got only a couple ounces of gold and you've been holding out for that two thousand dollar mark to unload it, but you've got bazillion ounces of silver. Man, I don't know. I, <laughs> and I've even noticed some, some people have been selling their gold to buy silver and platinum. Um, yeah, I don't even want to get into that mentality. I don't get it, man. It, it, neither of those are, are proving anything, but yet you're jumping in on it with your uh, unicorns in, in La La Land, man. This is reality, and reality at this moment dictates... For one thing, that in the times that we're in right now with the economy and the way the metals markets are working and the stocks and bond market are working with a strong dollar at the moment, it's telling me through common sense that I should be taking my profits and my gold, knowing the history of gold and how it will go down, and that I should be in on cash right now. Why? Here's one last point that I want to make before I cut you guys loose. I know it's getting long. If this virus bullshit, which I, I'm pretty sure that it's just a whole lot of bullshit, gets way out of hand to the point where the LCSs won't even be open, who the hell you think's going to buy your silver or your gold for that matter? Nobody's going to buy this shit because ain't nobody going to be around to buy it. Know what I mean? Even the guys online, look, if your LCS isn't going to be open, you think Provident and the Gold Bureau and Atmex and all these other places are going to be open? Hell no. If the grocery stores aren't open, then ain't nobody going to be open to buy this shit. You know what I mean? In which case, your cash really won't work too well. 
However, you still got bills to pay. And the majority of us these days pay our bills online. So there's not going to be an excuse for you to not pay your bills just because you can't go anywhere or go to work because your work is closed or anything of that nature. You still have commitments that you have to, your, you know, and obligations that you have to follow through with. And if you don't have the liquid cash to be able to do that, you know, look, you can't pay your bills with a 10th ounce, ounce of gold electronically, okay? You can't do it. You got to have this liquid cash in the bank so you can pay your bills electronically for when you're hunkered down in your damn bunker or your garage or your freaking RV or your damn yacht out in the middle of the fucking ocean or whatever else. You still got to be able to pay your bills, man. You still got to pay your taxes. You still got to pay your insurance. You still got to make your car payment, truck payment, whatever payment. You got obligations that you need to follow through with. Nobody's going to give you any grace. Nobody cares. Reality says nobody gives a shit. You need to look out for you, man. Take care of you and yours, man. If you're the man of the house, then, you know, the good Lord says that you're responsible for everything that happens within that house. And then with that household, you are the man, all right? You the man. You got to take care of business. And if you're going to continue just to acquire and stack and stack this gold right here, you know, and you don't have that liquid cash, enough of it to pay your bills. If things go sideways, then you neglected your duties, my friend. You neglected your duties. Be vigilant, be diligent, be responsible. And if you're able to take profits from this asset right here, I'd like to encourage you to do with, do so. You know, if you don't need to, then don't. But if you would like to, then there you go. I just shared with you the best place that I have found to date that you can do that and reap the rewards thereof. And uh, I hope that helped you guys out a little bit. Uh, you can review this video at any time. And, uh, you know, I just wanted to be a little bit of a, of a help versus just somebody that comes on here regularly to unbox something and show something off. Look at that slick right there. How useless is that? Why did I even keep it? Because it's free. That's why. <laughs> why do you even keep this? Ah, because I like it. That's why. But you know what? This produces, and I'm going to take its productive value, cash it in and put that in the safe along with the other 20 ounces of it, and that, therefore I'll be diverse, safe, confident, secure, and blah, blah, blah. I think I said enough, man. What do you think? 17 minutes and some change of your life? I hope I helped some. Yeah, I really did. I appreciate you stopping by. And until next time, my friends. Sure.